the London Self Defense Academy. Instructor Alex here. Today we're going to look at how Aikido can save your life in a self defense situation. So it's one of my absolute favorite moves. It looks so smooth and cool, feels great when you hit it perfectly. It's Irimanagi. So Irimanagi is great because you've got loads of different options. You can finish in a throw, you can finish by taking them down to the ground, and you can finish in a choke as well. So it's very versatile this move and it's great against one or even multiple attackers. Okay, before we get into it, click that like, hit that subscribe button. Now let's get started. Okay, so Irimanagi, we've got a couple of options. Let's look into it. The first thing is I want to have my hands up, ready to protect myself and ready to step in, take my head off that line. So if he's coming with a straight punch, so from here I'm in, I've protected myself. Either he's missed or we've made contact here. I'm dropping this hand down, same time, cradling his head into me. I'm stepping backwards, in, and I can take him down gently, or I can take him down hard. That's my options. This is also brilliant if somebody's coming with a straight strike, so maybe they've got a bottle or something in this hand. Same, same technique. I'm in, I'm maintaining the contact, cradling the head, and straight round, and I can take him down gently or I can decide to take him down really fast in a throw. Now I've got a few more options when it comes to this move. This is why it's really important to have a, an idea of who else might be around to attack you and if this is your only assailant. So if I'm here and he's stepped in, I can control him. But from here, if there's somebody else coming in, I might want to think about throwing him off in their direction to give me some time to slow them down. Now the other thing we can do out of an Irimanagi is to finish in a choke hold. Now these are very dangerous, especially if you're not exactly sure what you're doing. It doesn't take long to choke somebody out. You can cut off the blood supply and they can be unconscious in about five seconds. So please use this one sparingly, but if you've got multiple attackers or you know this person is armed and dangerous or really wants to cause you harm, you might not have any choice but to choke them out. So from here, same again, I'm stepping in, I'm controlling him, but instead of cradling the head and changing the momentum, I'm cradling the head, coming up underneath. And look, I've la landed already with my arm cradling under his chin. I can squeeze here. This is pressing on his carotid artery. This is closing in the gap the other side. I can lock it up in a half choke. I can go all the way into a full choke and I'm moving backwards so he has no balance. I can bring it down to the floor. The fight can be over here. <laughs> Loosen it up a little bit. The fight can be over. I can tell him you've lost. Calm down or you're going to go to sleep. Or if I have to, if he's not calming down, put it on and he's out. Okay guys, really hope you've enjoyed today's video. I've shown you a couple of options there with Irimanagi and how it can be really versatile, what you can do to take them down hard, take them down gently, or finish in a submission as well. Remember, like the videos, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Okay. I'm gonna get an Oscar for that. <laughs> 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 <It's good. laughs>